I'm Cheryl Tippins. I'm working on a history of uh, the village of New Amsterdam. Uh, it's, the book is called The First 200. It's about the first generation of Europeans to settle Manhattan Island. Uh, it, it, I, I had hoped, coming to the Cary residence, that I would be able to meet other nonfiction writers and have conversations with other writers because as, a, as a, a writer of history, that doesn't happen for me very often. I'm always secluded in my office with my books. And that's been a wonderful aspect of being here, is, is meeting these other writers who are working on spectacular projects and about learning uh, learning about what they're doing and uh, what they're concerned with. Um, it's been a fantastic educational experience for me, and you can see um, how uh, some, you know, how, how people inspire one another, and uh, there's a lot of uh, cross-fertilization going on here. People also reading each other's work and commenting on it and editing it and uh, uh, giving each other new ideas. It's been fantastic in that regard, better than I had hoped. If I hadn't come here, I'd be a, a, a good deal poorer because I would have had to have stayed in a hotel or a, an Airbnb or something to do my research. And I wouldn't have stayed as long. And that's, that's the fantastic thing about this residency. I probably could have afforded to have stayed maybe two weeks in Albany to work in these archives. And only today did I find this story that could be completely groundbreaking, not only for me, but for the Institute, if it happens to turn out to be true. I have to, I have to dig deeper and find out. But uh, I wouldn't have gone this deep into the archives, this far down into the filing cabinets, and found these forgotten stories. I would have, had, uh, I would have glazed over the top of it. And uh, this, so that's been invaluable for me. It's going to completely change the quality of my book. The fact that I've had a full five weeks here um, in one place in the main archive, just digging deeper and deeper and talking repeatedly with the sources of information who are here. Absolutely, I think, um, what I found is, first, there's a certain uh, wonderful sense of nostalgia when you see 24-year-old writers just beginning, and they have all of this uncertainty of whether things will work out for them and whether people are interested in what they're writing about. And I feel that people my age can be very helpful to those people, can show them how you get from A to B to C to D. But it's also um, invigorating. It's reinvigorating to see someone who's just starting out and to see the passion that they have. And, and it's admirable that, you know, they, in, in these very difficult conditions, which are worse than when my generation started out, that they're still eager and willing to go out there and do the work, even though their, their future economically and professionally is so much more uh, up in the air.